Hello everyone, I am Dr. Senthil Kamala Shekran, Senior Consultant at Chennai Ortho Clinic and today's topic of discussion will be tennis elbow or pain in the outer side of your elbow. Today's topic of discussion will involve what is tennis elbow, what are the symptoms, how do we diagnose it and what are the different treatment modalities for this very common condition. Tennis elbow is a repetitive strain injury. By that, what I mean is it is a condition which occurs because of too much of overuse. So if you're using your wrist extensors more often, then there is always a chance that you can cause micro tears in this outer region of your elbow and that can lead to inflammation and pain. In tennis players, this can most commonly be found because of a very strong backhand. When you use your backhand, there's a lot of pressure on your extensor muscles and that can cause problems. The treatment for this will be to take off the source of the problem. In tennis, we say to have a racket which is more flexible, which has less tension and which also has a larger grip. And we also ask the players to move on to a slower surface of play. In our place, in our cooking scenario, we see many of our working women who are actually kind of involved in a lot of cooking. So if you're lifting heavy items in your home, may it be a bucket or a pressure cooker or something like that, you can actually cause a lot of stress on the outer aspect of your elbow. Now how do you diagnose it? The diagnosis is mainly clinical. However, if you take an MRI, you can actually see a micro tear or you can see inflammation in the outer aspect of your elbow. Treatment for this condition is mainly rest. We also have braces which we call tennis elbow braces which would actually kind of restrict movement of the extensors. I personally also give them a wrist support at night so that they don't have any wrist movement and that can actually kind of reduce the inflammation of the elbow. Now if you ask me how do I actually kind of treat the condition then what I would say is if rest has not worked and your activity modification hasn't helped you we need to try to start doing some physiotherapy. By physiotherapy what we normally do is we massage the area first improve the circulation in that particular area we also do a lot of stretches so keep your arms out stretch it upwards do this repetitively and that kind of actually kind of stretches the muscle around your extensors and can reduce the pain which is emanating from the outer aspect of your elbow. If physiotherapy is not helping, we have other kind of modalities in which can help and some people do try ultrasound therapy or they can try some laser therapy nowadays and that can actually bring down the inflammation in the outer aspect of the elbow or the lateral epicondyle. If physiotherapy over a period of time and your stretches haven't helped you, what next? In that situation, we orthopedicians or sometimes physicians can actually give you a small injection of local anesthetic and steroid into the affected area and that can bring down the inflammation. Well, if you ask me, is steroid bad? I would say steroid is not bad because steroid is just a potent anti-inflammatory medication. It does not have any side effects. So it will be very helpful for this condition to take away the pain. The next question will be how much times can we take it? I would say you can repeat the injection at least over a period of six months if you have the problem recurring. But many times 95% of the times with one single shot of injection, you get very good relief. Another question I get asked in the clinic is what other modalities of treatment apart from steroids? The boon which we have nowadays for treatment of this condition is PRP and PRP is platelet rich plasma and platelet rich plasma is your own blood and we take the cell components and we give that into the affected area and this creates neogenesis and probably helps in the healing of the affected area with very good results. So you have a lot of techniques to heal the problem without going for any surgical procedure. So is there any surgical procedure? Yes, 
if all the injection modalities, physiotherapy, everything fails, then we can do a small surgery by which we actually kind of elevate the affected epicondyle and that kind of relieves your pain permanently. I hope this short topic has given you some insight into this injury called tennis elbow. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Many thanks.